Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. This is a love letter to the game video. Not something that I'm doing because I expect this champion to be game changing for my roster. Uh, although maybe in some matchups he definitely will. Shout out to my man Legacy who I've seen post on Twitter at least one time, probably multiple times, how he's been using this champion to take down Penny Parker in Battlegrounds. And I'm somebody who uh, is still terrible at fighting Penny Parker unless I'm using like Hulkling, which has way more to do with the champion's abilities than it does my skills, I can tell you that much. So I just completed the first path of Act 8 on my account. I have uh, five expiring level 1 revives that I still need to use. And of course all these boosts. Uh, see these five? Boom, 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 boom. Uh, before next week's Eternity of Pain. So I love going into Act 8 knowing that I have multiple revives that are going to be wasted if I don't spend them. But I got through the first path revivalist based off of solely ramping up, not a surprise at all, Hercules. You can see I took the path that has um, the bubble shield, the sixth sense, the true lies, the light him up the incinerate vulnerability, the shock vulnerability, which is technically probably a bad idea, right? Because um, for most people, if you have incinerate vulnerability or shock vulnerability, you want to bring in somebody that has one of those things. But I didn't. I just brought in Hercules and just ramped him up. And when you have a SIG 200 Hercules and like the auto block triggers and they counter you and you get to your awakened ability... It just becomes like a cheat code, exactly like how I feel when I use Aegon and he's at you know one of the highest combos. And so because of that, I am, uh, I mean, again, this is way more credit to Hercules' abilities than my skills. But because of that, I gained two more tier five basic catalysts and suddenly found myself with a, uh, a way to take up another champion and... Uh, if you missed my earlier videos, I have uh, taken my 10th 6-star to rank 4, thanks to y'all's feedback, and I really appreciate it, and my first science rank 4, and that is Cap Infinity War. By the way, Captain Bay, if you're watching this, you should feel confident to take Nick Fury to rank 4 yesterday, especially because you used the generic Awakening Gym on him, my friend. He has the ability to rank a bunch of people. Now, I'm going to be biased and say that not only Nick Fury is an amazing at rank 4, but so is Corvus and Cosmic Ghost Rider, two of their champions he sent over. But, you know, you do you, buddy. I'm just telling you, Nick Fury is a no-brainer. So, I am going to clear my ISO, and this is truly a love letter to the first time I played this game. Because if any of you know, one of the series, I'm not going to say it made my channel take off, because even the phrase take off is subjective but certainly it grew rapidly in my first ever five-star hunt and that was stark spidey and now of course we have a uh, six-star awakened version and between having almost maxed out maxed out tier four class catalyst of the tech class and tier two alphas and tier five basic uh this is a no-brainer to just honor and i don't know if i'm gonna use him you know i don't other than the arena i don't I don't know how often I'm going to use them. I'm going to eventually, my goal is to rank up to at least rank three. All three of the OG um, Holy Trinity synergy. So Blade, Stark Spidey, and Ghost Rider. Blade and Ghost Rider, unfortunately, are not awakened like Stark Spidey is. So Starkey's first. But I'm, I'm excited about this. And it's also nice to hit up the end of a level up event. And you can see... How high his his PI is. I mean, even though he's only like what sig twenty. So, there you go. Over nineteen thousand. Wow, and that's just rank three. And yeah, I was able to uh, to get that done. Um, oh, right as <laughs> right as the level up event finished. But uh, you know what? It inspired me to take him up. I already got all the points that I needed for milestones, so I'm good. So, yeah, um, this week was a big week for me. Captain America Infinity War to rank 4, who was also a big help in this week's Eternity of Pain, so clutch timing for that. And uh, and then especially, well, Stark Spidey, who is chilling next to Archangel, 
on a uh, rank three position. So, yay, a love letter to the game. Thank you, Kabam. This was a lot of fun to record, and I hope you enjoyed watching it.